apprehended the two police officers involved in the deadly shooting of Bernardo Palacios. Fox 13 Cindy Glenn spoke with the administrator of the board about that decision. The May 23rd death of Bernardo Palacios at the hands of two Salt Lake City cops has caused outrage and protests. We've obviously been monitoring and watching cases occurred. Once the ruling from Salt Lake District Attorney Sim Gill came down to not press charges last week, Rick Rasmussen says the Civilian Review Board got straight to work. We went into overdrive, basically working nonstop. Because it was such a great uh, community interest and outcry on this matter, uh, we didn't feel like um, we could take much of a breath. This week, the Civilian Review Board released their findings in this 26-page document, where the panel ultimately exonerated officers Kevin Fortuna and Neil Iverson. They are religiously, religiously tied to the facts. The report also offered up a recommendation, urging SLPD to review their firearms training policies. District Attorney Sim Gill has also made similar suggestions for police reform. Salt Lake City Mayor Aaron Mendenhall said in part, I recognize that this outcome, as well as the determination by District Attorney Sim Gill last week, is upsetting to many. She went on to say, our laws at every level should evolve and are designed to do so. They take those facts and they apply them to the Salt Lake City Police Department's deadly force policy. That policy exceeds the state policy. What's next for those two officers and their future with the department now lies with Police Chief Mike Brown. A spokesperson for the department says the chief has no timeline for when exactly he's going to be making a decision, but he will be looking at every piece of evidence. In Salt Lake City, Sydney Glenn, Fox 13 News, Utah. George Floyd's family.